The wetland sites, mangrove sites and lakes hold special significance in the UPSC examination, as every year, two or three questions are guaranteed to come from this area. This year, the total number of Ramsar sites in India has increased from 75 to 80, with a particular focus on South India. In today's video, we will cover all the wetlands of South India that have made headlines in the past year, starting with the state of Kerala. Four sites in Kerala are of particular importance, Vembanad Lake, Ashtamudi Lake, Sastamkota Lake, and Periyar Lake. Vembanad Lake recently made news when the National Green Tribunal, NGT, imposed a Rs 10 crore penalty on the Kerala government for failing to protect the lake from pollution and encroachment. Vembanad Lake, the longest lake in India and the largest in Kerala, spans an area of over 2,033 square kilometers. Situated on the central Kerala coast, the lake extends across several districts and is fed by four rivers, Minakil, Achankovil, Pampa and Manimala. A narrow barrier of islands separates the lake from the Arabian Sea, making it a popular backwater stretch in Kerala. The Vembanad Lake is a complex aquatic system consisting of lagoons, canals, deltas and estuaries, recognized as a wetland of international importance by the Ramsar Convention. It is the second largest Ramsar site in India after the Sundarbans in West Bengal and the Government of India has identified it under the National Wetlands Conservation Programme. Every year in August, the Valam Kali Nehru Trophy boat race is held on Vembanad Lake. The Kumarakum Bird Sanctuary is located on the lake's east coast. Ashtamudi Lake, a prominent brackish water lake, is the next important wetland that has been in the spotlight. The NGT also penalized the state of Kerala for failing to adequately protect this ecologically significant water body. Situated in the Kollam district of Kerala, Ashtamudi Lake holds the distinction of being the second largest lake in the state. The lake derives its name from its unique shape, resembling a palm with eight major arms, hence the name Ashtamudi, which translates to eight-coned in the local language. Fed by the waters of the Kalada River, the lake spans an impressive area of 61 square kilometers. As part of the renowned Vembanad Kol wetland system, Ashtamudi Lake has been recognized as a Ramsar site, underlining its international importance. Beyond its ecological significance, Ashtamudi Lake plays a crucial role in sustaining the local economy. The lake supports thriving fishing communities, while also serving as a vital resource for industries such as coconut husk retting and cashew processing in the surrounding region. The next site is Sastamkota Lake, the largest freshwater lake in Kerala. It has been in the news over the past year due to concerns about its deteriorating condition and the need for conservation measures. Geographically, Sastamkota Lake is situated in the Kollam district of Kerala, covering an area of 375 hectares. It is a Ramsar notified wetland of international importance. The last site from Kerala is Periyar Lake, located in the Periyar Tiger Reserve in Kerala Ziduki district. It has been in the news over the past year due to concerns about the safety of the 126-year-old Mulla Periyar Dam. The lake, an artificial reservoir created by the Mulla Periyar Dam in 1895, is at the center of a dispute between the states of Kerala and Tamil Nadu. It covers an area of about 26 square kilometer and lies at an elevation of around 2,800 feet, surrounded by the Periyar National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary. The lake and its surrounding reserve are known for tigers, elephants, and many endemic species. The Periyar River, which originates in the Western Ghats and flows through the lake, is an important source of water for wildlife, and its water is also diverted to Tamil Nadu for irrigation and power generation. Let's now swiftly shift our focus to the next South Indian state, Karnataka. In the past year, six wetland sites from Karnataka have garnered significant attention. We'll start by exploring the first site, the Aganashini Estuary. The Aganashini Estuary, situated in the Uttara Kannada district of Karnataka, is a unique brackish water ecosystem formed by the confluence of the Aganashini River with the Arabian Sea. Spanning an area of 4,801 hectares, this estuary was designated as a Ramsar site on the 31st of January, 2024, recognizing its ecological significance as a wetland of international importance. 
the Aganashini River originates in the Western Ghats and flows westward for 117 kilometers before joining the sea, creating a diverse habitat that supports a rich biodiversity. The estuary is home to over 80 fish species, 115 bird species, and 45 mangrove plant species. The next site is the Magadi Kerry Conservation Reserve, a man-made wetland spanning nearly 50 hectares in the Gadag district of Karnataka. It was designated as a Ramsar site on 31st of January 2024. Despite being constructed primarily for irrigation purposes, the wetland has become a haven for avian diversity, supporting more than 166 bird species, including several threatened and near-threatened species. The site serves as one of the largest wintering grounds for the bar-headed goose in southern India, attracting nearly 8,000 birds during the winter season. The next site is the Ankasamudra Bird Conservation Reserve, located in the Vijayanagara district of Karnataka. It is a human-made wetland built centuries ago as a village irrigation tank. Spanning an area of 98.76 hectares, this ecologically significant site was designated as a Ramsar site in 2024. The wetland serves as a crucial nesting and roosting ground for over 30,000 water birds, with abundant gum Arabic trees growing in the lake providing suitable habitat. The reserve regularly supports more than 1% of the biogeographic population of the near-threatened painted stork and the black-headed ibis. The last notable site for Karnataka is the Kabini Reservoir, situated in the Mysore district of Karnataka. It is a picturesque water body formed by the construction of the Kabini Dam in 1974. Surrounded by the Nagahol and Bandipur National Parks, the reservoir and its backwaters support a rich biodiversity, including over 250 bird species and numerous mammals, such as the Bengal tiger, Indian leopard, black panther, Indian elephant, and smooth-coated otters. The Kabini Reservoir is particularly famous for its large congregation of Asiatic elephants during the summer months. The next state is Andhra Pradesh with three sites, Koleru Lake, Pulikat Lake, and the Kondakalava Wetland.